We got the milk. Hot milk. Right? Boom. We got milk. Get what are you going to do here? Get in here. Ready? Yep. Okay. Okay. So this is where you actually see it break. Do you see the little curds right in the center? Little chunks coming out, right? This is the magic. This is what makes milk punch possible. Wow. Okay. Right? If you don't get that kind of break, that's what we call it, a break, your milk punch will not go clear. I always tell people about milk punch at this phase is it is already clear. It is our job now to separate all the little bits of cheese curd from the clear punch. But in essence, if you look close enough, you can see these pockets of clear punch, right? And the curds that are floating in it. Um, another way of thinking about it is almost like a consomme, right? The egg white in a consomme and the protein will actually grab a hold of all the cloudy stuff and will clarify the consomme. Even at the time though, whenever the, the egg white and the vegetables and all the protein and whatnot is still in the pot, your consomme is clear. You just have to get it all out so you can enjoy the beautiful rich consomme. And that's what, it, what we're gonna do right here and now. The less you mess up uh, this, this re gently resting uh, container, the happier the milk punch is. So we use a ladle to sort of cushion the fall of the punch, but you don't have to do it. Ready? So as the milk punch flows through, you'll see that it's initially completely cloudy as we've agitated all those curds. But in the bag, this bag, uh, it's called a super bag or an ultra bag, the curds start to collect along the wall of it and form a, a web or a matrix so that all the cloudy stuff adheres to the cheese protein and slowly stops the flow of the cloudy punch and ensures the only thing that comes through is clear. 